Hello everyone, Segmentator here. Welcome back to At Dead of Night. Look through here. Anything in here? I don't really check the storeroom because I just thought maybe they were ID spots. Oof, I'm on ground floor. I'm not, I'm on the second floor. Right, let's. I've checked all the rooms I can apart from the storerooms. So in my head, that's the only. It's the only thing really left me to check if that doesn't work. Maybe the game's glitched out, I don't know. Was there one on the ground floor? You see nothing. Oh. I don't think there is one down there, is there? No. I know there's nothing in here. All right, let's try the third floor. If this doesn't work, I don't know what what to do then. Well, I know I'm not that far into the game, so I could restart and see if that helps, but... Too dark. Okay, so I can't use that in there. First floor had a to uh, toilet next to it. That's the only one that's open, so I guess I can try there. Uh, eat a storeroom. Okay, there we go. Is anyone there? Oh. 
Oh, did he turn the light off but because he couldn't get in? And nothing for me to interact with on the table. Anyway, they've done an excellent job on the sound mechanics in this. But there's got to be something I've I've overlooked I've overlooked or missed. I'm going to have another run around the hu the entire hotel and see what I can find. Alright, I'm back. Um, I'm going to try talking to the bows again because... Is anyone there? Hello? Is it Dr. Bows? Yes, I'm Dr. Bows. Right, I'll try this and this. When you said Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind, does that have anything to do with what you said about those violent pictures? Yes. They suggested a turbulent personality, but I wasn't particularly concerned until I started to realise how far his imagination went. Did I not do that one before? I'm sure I did that one before. Broken mirror. First floor. Oh, well, well, okay, well, at least we have progress now. Bloody hell. Alright, so back to the first floor. I'm sure I did that pairing before. Didn't I? Okay. Oh well, doesn't matter. We've finally got progress. Why are you still here? There was flickering in here. But he's close, so let's where is it? Lock that. Whoa! Can I talk to him in here? Is it Dr. Bose? I'm Dr. Bose. Alright, good. We can make some progress. I saw you holding up a dead animal on a wire. What had happened? Jimmy was killing things. Small birds, animals. I realised he needed to work on his empathy skills. So I asked him to think of something nice he could do for me. I was surprised. He came up with an idea right away. Okay. Let's do... Ah, hound the blood cloth. 
When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? Hmm. Uh, chef's hat, maybe? When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, is that connected to what you said about the chef's hat? Yes. Jimmy said he'd make something for me, so I followed him to see what he was going to do. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Ground floor. Okay, good. Ground floor, so Jimmy can't chase us down there. That's. You know nothing, Jimmy. I can I can make it to the lift surely. Yeah, easy. I wasn't worried. So I'm guessing that means kitchen. Because it was a chef's hat. Let's go to the kitchen. Which is this way. Well, this is a great idea, Jimmy. I reckon you'll make a great cook one day. Uh, why don't you bring it up to me when you're done? I'll wait for you, okay? That was a mistake. Is it Dr. Bose? Am I moving closer? It out here, maybe? Is it Dr. Bose? Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. I saw you outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? Jimmy was making me a sandwich. He brought it up to my room as I asked. I didn't suspect anything was wrong at first. Um. I'm going to ask about the mirrors because I saw them in one of the clips. When you said you didn't suspect anything was wrong, is that connected to what you said about the broken mirrors? Maybe. Maybe, okay. So that and... Blood cloth? When you said you didn't suspect anything was wrong, does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? Oh, here we go. Okay, third floor. All right, we are making progress. That's good. I think I will upload the previous episode. Even though, no, even though nothing happened, because I was just lost. I think this one makes up for it, because we are shooting through now. What a breeze.
compass is pointing. Ah, here we go. You made it up. I'm telling you, he's been lying about everything, probably lying about the other stuff as well. Don't be Who are you? You sure about that? He lies about everything. Open your bloody eyes, Rose. Oh, that's right. Walk off. I'm not listening, Harvey. You've just got to Oh, that's Harvey. It's the truth. Three oh seven. Okay. Have we been in here? Dear Mum, I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Who's there? Hello? What's your name? Harvey. I run the place. I saw a man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? It was me. Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Rose believed him, but I'd heard that story somewhere before. Who wrote the note that says goodbye? I don't know. Okay. I saw Dr. Bose outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What was he doing? The doctor was trying to educate Jimmy. Get him to help out. Big mistake. I saw Dr. Bose holding a dead animal on a wire. What had happened? Jimmy said he'd found it somewhere. What he was doing with it is another story. Okay. Why was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? I don't know. Okay. I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? He used to keep cutouts of news stories about abusive teachers and doctors. He wasn't a normal boy. I see. How did those mirrors get broken? I don't remember that. I saw Amy lying at the bottom of the stairs. What happened to her? She fell from the top floor down the stairs. I knew Jimmy was behind it. He had to be. I'm just going to ask about everything. I saw the little girl at the top of the stairs, on the banister. What was she doing? She dropped a bottle of whiskey. She didn't know what she was doing. Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? It was giving electric shock. I kept it so the police could check it. Alright, okay. I saw a man knocking on a door, telling Jimmy he was there to help. Who was it? It was Dr. Bowes. He was supposed to help Jimmy. But Jimmy was beyond help. I saw Amy drinking something. She didn't seem to like it. What was it? I don't know anything about that. Hey. Right, we'll leave Amy alone, I think, because we've I found some her story's done. Who won them? All right, he's getting vague. Let's. Who did the wedding ring belong to? Probably belongs to Rose. Okay. What was the coil of wire used for? Jimmy used to carry it round with him. No idea why. Okay, so no one knows where he had the wire. Who does the sword belong to? We had a display of medieval weapons. Jimmy stole it. Who drew those violent pictures? Who do you think? Jimmy. He had a very violent imagination, did little Jimmy. Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? I don't know, but it might have had something to do with the doctor. Okay. 
Where did the wooden paddle come from? It's always under the counter in reception. I don't know where it came from. Hey. Who did the chef's hat belong to? The chef. Who else wears a chef hat? <laughs> Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? I don't remember. But there's nothing wrong with having a drink. All right. Okay. Let's combine that with the heater. When you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, does that have anything oh, to no, do with what one. you said about the dangerous heater? Wrong one. Uh, that and the scrapbook. When you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? It came straight out of it. As soon as I found that scrapbook, I knew where Jimmy had got it from. It was the same, down to every detail. Ah, there we go. Still something else to do on the third floor. Shit. Of course he's up here now. I'm hearing noises, but I don't know if it's Jimmy or not. Okay, so that way's a dead end. That's right, you back off. Right, let's try scrying. First floor. That's Harvey. Oh, I think it's the other room.
Can you leave? Well, there's something up here that's currently not being triggered. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to end this episode here. We made a, a fair amount of progress. So I'm quite happy and I'd rather not get caught by Jimmy again. Thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been at Dead of Night. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.